All right, so one of the things I was thinking back when I first started working in corporate, being a former mechanic, of all the new hires introduce themselves, and one of the most like classic question they ask is, tell us something about you that's not on your LinkedIn profile. And I know I added it afterwards because I thought, oh, sounds pretty cool. But uh, I was the youngest Aston Martin uh, mechanic in the world for a few years. This goes for Lamborghini too. I wasn't factory trained, but I have worked on Lamborghinis because this shop was a factory authorized shop for them. So, you know, you get exposure to both. And yeah, I was the youngest dude working on Aston Martins day in and day out. Um, Shit was crazy. Like, how does that work? Eh, Just be the youngest guy at the shop. (laughs) And then when they send you out to the factory to train, so they... For Aston Martins, um, I went to training in Chicago, and then they can they can send you to England as well, like the HQ uh, factory in Gaydon. And word got around. Everyone found out that I was really young. It's not something you talk about because think about it. If you spent 300K on a car, let's talk about an Aston Martin. You'd bring it. If something's messed up, you're already pissed off, right? And then you bring it to the dealership. You want some crusty old... Um, British dude working on your whip. You know what I mean? And then um, you see this bright-eyed Asian dude. Oh, my God. A lot of them. I wouldn't say a lot of them, but a good portion of them, man. They would see me and be like, there's no way this kid's working on my car. Like, I don't blame them. You know, you just take it on the chin and just let them know it's all good. They're like, it's fine. He's factory trained. He's all good. All right, back to the training. And, yeah, so the instructors, the engineers... The administration, they all, yeah, they confirmed that they never met anyone as young as me um, as a mechanic. And said so definitely in the U.S., most likely in the world. And But there was no plaque, you know what I mean? <laughs> There's no plaque for that. They did, They were not, they were actually not really stoked about hearing that because um, obviously they're going to question me. They're going to question the dealership for even sending me, like, what is going on here? Keep this in mind, most of the, most mechanics... And even the, there are young ones, but they have like eight years, 10 years, 15 years, 20 years experience. Um, my boss worked at a independent Rolls Royce shop, you know, and my other coworker, he worked on Aston Martins in the UK and they brought him over to the US. Before that, he was a Jaguar tech for many years. A lot of people worked from Lexus, Mercedes, BMW, and they make that transition. So having me in there, ooh. It wasn't, people weren't mad. They were just like, whoa, what the heck? And so, yeah, so they gave me the title then. It it was what it was. And uh, yeah, but it was good to know. So yeah, uh, it's an interesting fact, but definitely not something you're sharing in the moment <laughs> when you're a mechanic. After the fact, it's fine. So um, yeah, it was, the whole, man, how I got that job, you know, being super young, how I got that job was crazy. Uh, just, I didn't even have a driver's license and I got the job. They were not hooking it up. They did not want to hire me. You know what I'm saying? I made them hire me and I did a bunch of different things to like, just prove to them that I wanted to be a part of that, part of that team, you know, something I still do nowadays. Like if you want something, you just got to go for it hard. You know what I mean? And, um, that worked out well for me and I didn't know how to drive a manual that I had to figure that out on the fly. I had to get a driver's license on the fly. I had to do a bunch of stuff on the fly, but ultimately I got into the shop and I was working and it was like, it was crazy. I was freaking think about it. I'm driving Lamborghinis every day at Ferraris come in once in a while, like Bentleys, Rolls Royces, Aston Martins. It was awesome. Anyway. So yeah, so that's the story. I'll, I'll try to make more of these videos, share more of these stories. Um, And yeah, so that's it. Super is done. Thanks for listening. And uh, yeah, on to the next.